Hi guys, my name is Dan, I'm a veterinarian, welcome to the video. Today we're going to talk about spleen cancer, or more specifically, hemangiosarcoma. Now a lot of different cancers can cause spleen cancer, it can be metastatic in a lot of cases, because the spleen is an organ that filters the blood. However, with that being said, the most common cancer we see in the spleen is the hemangiosarcoma. And it's because the hemangiosarcoma is a blood vessel cancer, and again, the spleen is an organ that filters blood, so there's a lot of blood vessels in there, and it's a prime place for cancer development. The way it's diagnosed, guys, is usually with blood work, an ultrasound, some x-rays, and a lot of times it's you, the pet owner, that notices it. Usually what happens, unfortunately, is the dog has internal bleeding literally you have your beautiful spleen here and there's a big old mass on it and it may have been growing for months and we're not sure when this cancer starts to develop it can tear open and bleed and that will lead to internal bleeding the dog's gonna be very anemic because they're bleeding internally if you look at the dog's gums they may be pale because the dog's bleeding internally also, you may have abdominal bruising because the bleeding into the abdomen has now caused bruising on the abdominal wall. And also the dog may be very lethargic and just overall sick in general. Now the way we're going to move forward is surgery. Now I treat a lot of these doggies and it can be really, really serious because they're bleeding, right? So what we're going to do guys is once the doggy's stable, either, either after a blood transfusion or fluids or whatever we need to do, we take him to surgery and we're going to remove the spleen because if the spleen is bleeding from a, from a tumor, right, we have to take it out and if we can cut it all out and get rid of it, the bleeding stops and the dog doesn't need it. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a blood organ that filters blood, removes infection. It is important, but not needed. I have a lot of dogs that do really well without it. Now, the tough thing about this is, is unfortunately, once you have these symptoms of abdominal bleeding and a really well-developed hemangiosarcoma on the spleen, most dogs are only gonna live months after the diagnosis. Even after cutting it out with surgery, unfortunately guys, most doggies only live months. This is because it's already spread. It's microscopic, it's, 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 just in the, it's in the blood, it's in the circulation, it's spreading to uh, the heart base, the lungs, other organs. It's just a horrible, horrible disease. Now you may ask me now, Dr. Dan, why in the world would you ever remove this sucker if the dog's gonna die anyways from it? We remove it because one third of the time it's a hematoma and we have saved the day. The dog will live a normal lifespan, live a very healthy life without their spleen, and we save the dog's life. You can't tell the difference just with an ultrasound or an x-ray between hemangiosarcoma and a hematoma. They are vastly, vastly different. Hemangiosarcoma, even with surgery, the doggy will pass away within months. And a hematoma, you take it out, they're very benign, and the doggy lives. However, both of them, if you want to save the dog's life, both of them need surgery because the dog is actively bleeding into its abdomen.